Hey, what is going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be doing a braid out. My hair is really fuzzy and I'm actually going to get a fade. That's the reason why I'm actually doing a braid out on my hair. Because one thing that I do notice is if there's braids in your hair, it's kind of hard to get the separation or the part between, I would say, you know, this hair that's going to be cut and the hair that you want to keep. And you don't want to constantly keep nicking all this hair because then this line is either going to get pushed up or it's going to eventually get crooked and you're going to have to go and fix it like what I already did uh, just recently when I did my tapered hairline. I'm looking really rough right now. I just woke up and studied and read and all that stuff and just basically handled some business. So right now, like I said, I'm just going to do a braid out and then I'm going to head over to Diddy's. And I'm not actually cutting my own hair today uh, because I am graduating college today. And I don't, haven't really talked much about that, but I'll probably talk more about it in this video uh, about my college experience and everything like that. And basically how awesome, not want to say how awesome my life is, but I would say from my perspective, my, I have a pretty awesome life and I'm super like excited about the place that I'm in. But I'm on this backdrop. I'm trying to stay as close to it as possible to get it, but it's all good. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to do a braid out. Uh, might wash my hair today after i get the fade most likely i'll wash my hair do a light retwist because my hair is looking really fuzzy right now so let's go ahead and pull this out real quick and then i'll show you guys what my hair is going to look like i'm actually really interested to see what my hair is going to look like after the braid out i feel like they have matured a little bit just because they were in braids give them some time to actually stay in one position for a while but um like I said, my hair is really frizzy, very fluffy, and I just want to handle that today. And I just want to look clean for graduation. Since I just did put in um, starter locks, I don't want to cut my own hair and then end up nicking one of them. So let's go ahead and do the braid out. This is the before. And then I'll set you guys down right here and then I'll braid, unbraid my hair. So I think the biggest thing I want to accomplish with this braid out is actually keeping the braids in. Man, these little black ties, like I'm the person that doesn't tie these little black ties really tight, but my wife did them, so it was pretty tight. So get the separation first, make sure that everything is good. Oh yeah, they look like they're in really well. So since these are starter locks, I want to be super careful with pulling them out because you don't want to unravel by accident one of the starter locks so I'm just going really slow but fairly fast because you don't want to like end up putting your finger between the dreadlock and then pulling it out but yeah these look good they look more compressed and that's a good sign when you get to the root be a little more careful because the roots can be tricky but they turned out really curly they actually look really good so let's go ahead and finish this off but like I said guys I am graduating tomorrow today is a graduation banquet I'm graduating from LPCU, which is a Bible-based college, and I mean, my experience there is nuts because, like, that's what really separated me, I guess, from my old self and how, um, I guess, the way I thought or, let's see how to put it, I would say as far as just being a businessman or how to run things and, uh, I would say taking, I would say, my life to the next level, this is what really did it and really put life in perspective. And it's really cool to say that I'm graduating this year. Um, now this is only my associates. I still have six years left. And that's what I really wanna do is um, I wanna get a doctorate in divinity. Um, not just to say that I have a doctorate, but this is something that I just really enjoy studying. So that one's braided out. These are two braids. These actually look, these actually look really cool. They look like they're staying in really well. So this is what these two look like. But you guys, like I said, um, I'm really like focusing on this. This is like a, I would say, definitely not a, well, I'd say like a big part of my life. It's definitely, I would say, it ties in with, I guess, my entire life. So I, I wouldn't say that it takes up a whole bunch of my life, but it ties into everything that I do. Um, and I think that's one thing to consider if you're going to college or anything like that. Like, do something that is going to help you out with what you plan on doing and what your desires and passions are. Not necessarily desires, but your passions. Because um, those are two different things. But this is something that I'm passionate about that, like, helps me out completely. And, like, like I said, my life is, like, completely 
I want to say different, but completely brought up to another level. And the reason I'm speaking more about this, not only just because I'm graduating, but um, school starts in a few weeks here in Arizona, um, as far as like high school and all the other schools. So this is like encouragement for you guys too, just beside um, like what I'm doing with my hair and everything like that, um, that I would encourage all you guys, like really focus on what you want to do. I told, I was speaking to Kenneth yesterday, it's like, I always wanted to do what I'm doing today, ever since I would say fifth or sixth grade. I've always planned on doing this, like, I've always created videos, and I've always wanted to be successful on YouTube, um, and I've worked at it con continually, so then now that I knew what I wanted to do, I found assets or accessories in my life that can feed that, so everything that is your passion is like a child, like, you have to feed your children, so your passion, feed it with what's going to help you to move forward, so it's like, I find everything in my life to figure out what's gonna move them, you know, the mark forward so that I can get out ahead because that's what makes you different from other people. But guys, I'm on my last braid. I'm trying to hurry up because I'm trying to head over and get this haircut really quick. Um, I'm most likely gonna shoot a video with uh, Diddy or Ar uh, Activerse for the Great Locks channel. And I have like this concept idea of doing a haircut video, but it's like a haircut conversation. And uh, if you haven't already, check out the Beyond the Roots series that we just started up. This may be an extension to Beyond the Roots, but I'm not sure if it's going to be attached or called Beyond the Roots as far as what we're doing today. Because it's going to be like a haircut conversation. Because you know when you're at the barber shop, and it's like they have everything to talk about. And like for real, like if you're cutting someone's hair or you're getting your hair cut, good conversations spark up. So I think that's going to be a good, those are going to be good videos to create kind of like haircut conversations. But we'll... We'll talk it through over there, see how that works out. But besides all my other life stuff, this braid out is actually really impressing me. I, I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. I wasn't sure if the starter locks were going to stay in, but they actually stayed in really well. And I'm actually being a little rough with these, and they're still staying in relatively well. The tips and the roots are the biggest thing I think I need to pay more attention to, and that's with anybody's dreadlocks. I would say a huge tip or a pointer for everyone out there who is going into dreads that the number one things that you are mainly going to have to focus on is the roots and the tips. Because what you'll notice is with mine, there's two things that you'll notice. The links, not really bad, but one thing you will notice is the tip is wispy and the root is wispy as well. That, so those are the two main things that you need to focus on when you're getting dreadlocks is the tip and the root. But guys, this is the braid out. Hopefully you enjoyed that little braid out. Like I said, I'm really stoked on how this braid out is looking. Um, but I am going to head over to Diddy's really fast, get my hair cut. Um, so that we can get on with our day. Because I do have to get to a banquet today. Like I said, for graduation, which I'm really stoked on. But yeah, hopefully what I said about like you know school and everything like that really encourages you and puts life in perspective. On like what you're really trying to achieve and accomplish. But yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna head out because I really gotta go. So before I head out, I'm just gonna pull my hair up really quick so that I can get out of Diddy's way so that he's not snipping any of these. And you really wanna make sure that all the hair that's supposed to be in there is in there. So like, I'm pushing all of it up and then I'm just gonna brush it down here a little bit. So now I'm just gonna brush everything down. All right, I'm gonna leave that like that, and then I'll let Diddy take care of the rest. So right now I'm gonna head to Diddy's, and I'll see you guys when I get there. Some things, and I didn't see my phone. Just pulled up to Diddy's, man. This is the new spot. Uh oh. What's up, man? We're about to do some haircuts. Uh, he's gonna cut my hair first, and then we're shooting that video, like I said, for the Great Locks page. So it's gonna be pretty dope. I left my camera home, so I almost well, my other camera. So we almost failed, but Diddy has a camera, so we're gonna do that one. These haircuts too. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, man. All right, y'all. This is the cut. I'm about to go check it out in the bathroom real quick. Shout out to Diddy, man. Make sure to go check him out. The fan's pretty loud, but this is a clean fade, y'all. <laughs> you filming here with the with the fan like that? Yeah. I usually, I turned it off last time and I just used the other camera. Oh, there, there. So like I said, we are going to film this video for Great Locks and I'm super stoked on the idea of it and the concept. So to see it actually work out, we're going to see how it works. This is like the pilot. 
It's like a part two of Beyond the Roots, of which we did recently. Uh, link to the first episode of Beyond the Roots is down below. You guys loved it. I'm super glad you guys liked it. But you guys are about to fade him, shoot this video, and then I'm gonna get on with the rest of my day, because like I said, actually me and Diddy are graduating. That might be one of the subjects on the video for Great Locks, but we're just gonna see what we get into. Just wrapped up at Diddy's, gave him a fade shot. That video turned out great. Um, super excited to edit that and uh, get it out for you guys. I think it's gonna come out it either came out Sunday or it's coming out Wednesday. Maybe it's a two-part thing because it was a really long video. I think it was f over 40 minutes in total. So, <laughs> um, but I will definitely edit it down a little bit just so it's not crazy exhausting. But I'm heading out. Diddy's actually cleaning the clippers right now. About to head out, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you didn't get 360. Oh, I didn't? Let me get it. I'll get, I'll get one. That's true. I forgot. I'll get it on this camera. So I'm actually just going to get a, a shot of his hair, um, the haircut, the 360 of it, and then, because that's to, like the final shot for this video that we're doing. Uh, it's called Beyond the Roots, The Fade, so it's like a part two of Beyond the Roots um, on each interview. So it's going to be pretty cool. Nice, do a little 360 for him. Nice hair. cut. I'll, I'll probably do my beard later oh, yeah. before I hit the, uh, the banquet. Let's go, man. Let's go, Graduation man. 19. Yeah, 20, 2018, 2019? Is that what yeah. we are? 2018, 2019. 2018, 2019, you know what I'm saying? Woo! Hey, I never went to college to get any degrees. It's my first degree, so. Hey. All glory to God. All right, man, but I gotta get out of here, man. I gotta get back to my family, you know. <laughs> no, for real. I'm heading out, y'all. Grabbing these. We actually have, like, all this equipment that we use to film this one, so it's gonna be super high quality. And uh, I'm out. All right, bro. I'm about to make some burgers. Y'all yeah. want to come? Mm -hmm. Right now? Right now? Yeah. Okay, I'll see what the deal is. So, fires. You got Trust. buns and everything? I do? Anything. See, I got buns too. But, I got buns and everything. I do? All right. So, I might end up back here. So, I'm about to go home, edit some stuff, probably eat something, and then come back and eat something again. <laughs> Bye, bro. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. Okay guys, just finished up the video with Diddy. This video is, I think, 25 minutes long. You guys asked for a longer video and longer episodes for Beyond the Roots. So I'm actually really excited that you guys wanted longer episodes. That video, like I said, turned out great. We got into some really good stuff. But you guys, it is 2.53, about to be three o'clock. I have to be at the banquet for graduation uh, at, at 4.30. So I'm calling it quits today as far as like being at my desk. I need to shower and get ready and do a retwist on my hair because my hair is super fluffy and I'm just doing a light retwist. Like every time I mention that I'm doing a retwist, it's typically a light retwist just because I'm trying to keep it formed up and looking good along the whole process. But that's what I'm doing right now. I'm concluding this video because um, like I'm gonna have a really busy day. It's been busy already. Woke up at six o'clock, you know, studied, did some work, went to Diddy's, cut his hair, he cut my hair. Um, shot that video, edited that video, and there's actually two parts to this video. Now, finish filming this video, finishing this one, and then going to the banquet and everything like that. So, concluding this one. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.